Vai jaksa? No tuli siia. Nii, ja nüüd ole mulle korraks üle. Hi guys! And welcome to our very first English video. So we are the Life is a View family of three. We have been living in the van for almost six months now. And at the moment we live in Spain's Gold Coast and we both work part time. So we built our van in 16 days and it cost us less than 1200 euros. So we had a very, very tight time schedule and we knew that we couldn't finish everything, but we just had to make it livable. And that's what we did. So the van we chose is a 2001 year old Citroen jumper. We bought it for 2800 euros and spent about a thousand euros on the repairs. The main features we were looking in a van was that uh, it had three seats in the front. It already had uh, several windows installed. And the main reason was that I could stand up in the van after the insulation and paneling. After searching for weeks, uh, we finally found one van. I gave the guy a call, uh, had it checked, and we bought it the next day. We're about to see the van reveal. The outside of the van is left as standard as possible. We didn't want to draw any unnecessary attention, so you, every dent and rust spot is still visible. So we decided to do a uh, fixed bed. For one, we didn't want to hustle with uh, making the bed twice a day. And secondly, because we wanted to bring Alexander's motorcycle with us. So the bike fits perfectly underneath the bed, which leaves us plenty of headroom on the inside. We are quite active, so we brought a lot of uh, things with us. Uh, so Alexander has his motorcycle and balance bike. I have my golf equipment, we longboard, we brought footballs. Back there, there are some inflatables for the beach. Also, we store here some extra clothes, shoes that we... Golfy! <laughs> Golfy! Uh, some extra clothes and shoes we don't use every day. We have watched hundreds and hundreds of conversion videos and we decided for this layout and for the materials and colors. So, here it is. It still amazes me that we were able to make it look like that without any previous experience. Behind the seats we have Alexander's bed, which on the daytime is a little bench for us to sit on. And underneath we have some indoor storage. So here we store our little porta potty, uh, some extra batteries, some extra water, and some toys and board games for Alexander. Above the uh, driver's cabinet, we have this little storage space as well. And here we storage wow. some of the Alexander's bed sheets, our camera gear, some jackets, and some of the books that we're reading at the moment. It has become this nice little place to quickly put things away, but then again, you have to reorganize it almost every day. In the back of the van, we have our bed, which we decided to build with whey. Edo is 180 and the bed is 178. <laughs> So he has to sleep a little diagonally, but that's not a big price to pay for all the space that we gain out of it. Down here we have our so-called closet. Uh, here we store our clothes, uh, our toiletries, and one basket is for our food. So me and Alexander both get one basket and Mariana gets two. Of course. Of course. Good as I don't 
Ja, dat is gelukt. It started to rain and it smells like wet asphalt. I love that smell. Yeah, but we still have to film the van tour now. Yeah, we do. This is our tiny kitchen. Uh, as you can see, we don't have a, a have a tap. Uh, we were in a hurry to to leave, so we just use this uh, big water canister that we put on the countertop every time we have to do the dishes or or get some water. Otherwise, the space we have here is perfect for us. It's not too small, and we use every square centimeter of it. Under the countertop, we we store the fresh water tank, and behind it is the the grey water tank. Uh, also, we have some uh, cleaning supplies. We don't like to use uh, chemicals. The only chemicals we do use is for the toilet because this needs quite a bit of cleaning. For normal cleaning, we actually use. Uh, vinegar mixed with water and it works perfectly for us. On this side uh, is the drawer system where we keep cutlery, plates, uh, pots and pans, some uh, uh, spices uh, and, for, and for cooking we use this uh, small camping grill. It's very cheap and uh, yeah, it does the job. I just have to say that we've never had any greenery in any of our homes and we have all these nice plants. They're fake, of course, <laughs> but they look super cute. So here you have our van tour. I hope you really enjoyed our little tiny home on wheels because we sure do. And let us know in the comment section what you thought about it. We are definitely going to upload more English van related videos about the build, about the travels, what we eat in a van and all that. So be sure to subscribe and check out our future videos as well. Was that good? Bye guys! Bye guys! <laughs> <laughs> We are quite active, so we brought a lot of things with us. <laughs> it has become this nice little place to put things away quickly. But hey! In the back of the van, we have our. In the back of the van, we. So the bed is. Otherwise, it's plenty of space to, to prepare food and uh, do the frying and everything else. Well, s have the script. But this little guy keeps f***ing <laughs> up. <enough. laughs> and this was... Li uh, <laughs> <laughs> we really love your... What's the word? Feedback. Feedback. <laughs> <laughs> Give us a comment, like, subscribe. Uh, we really like reading all the comments you write. <laughs> <laughs> and <Mom>. that. <laughs> so this was our <laughs> <laughs> tiny home on wheels. Baby.